Who's back? Look who's back. <laughs> Zebo's in the house. Mm -hmm. right. Jake, how are you? We roll over. Let's do it. Kyle said so. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead, guys. <laughs> Questions for Coach. What, what were you looking for out of this scrimmage? And what did you see? Um, well, there's a couple things specifically. We wanted to, uh, the other day in practice, we had a, a number of pre-snap post-whistle penalties, which we were looking to eliminate. Those are a matter of focus. And, you know, sometimes as the playbook grows, you're thinking about a lot of things and you kind of can revert a little bit on procedural. And so we wanted to clean that up. I thought we did a good job. I think we had one pre-snap uh, penalty today. Um, and then I was real, uh, excited to see the 50-50 balls because we've had a lot of 50-50 plays and that happens during the season in the past game and it really challenged the receivers and the DBs or the cover guys I should say you know, what's what's going to happen on those quote unquote 50-50 balls because on offense we don't want those to be 50-50 you know and on defense we don't want them to be 50-50 I wanted to see those guys compete for the ball so we'll grade those uh, on the tape. Look like a little bit more mixing and matching this week with guys working with maybe some different groups. Yeah. Uh, you know, what was the key to that? Oh, I don't. Yeah. Again, I don't, we're just looking for reps, and uh, sometimes it's maybe a, a position that we're trying to look at a couple different guys, or maybe a different, you know, maybe more reps for certain people. So yeah. probably wouldn't read too much into it. Yeah. Look like the defense got its lunch taken from them on first 11 on 11 drive. How would you assess that? I response? agree with you. I think you're spot on lunch and dinner taken. I mean, it was offense came out, put the ball in the end zone, scored points, and then we, I put them in a backed up situation and both the first and second team offense got out of those backed up situations. And then that second period we had, but the defense got some early stops, uh, forced some long third downs on the other side of the field, which now the other team's punt as opposed to be able to go for it on fourth down. And then the third period, I thought the offense had some more uh, explosive plays, but we turned the ball over and had some negative, gave up a couple sacks. So it really went both ways today. And just, you know, the, the message is, you know, it's a four quarter game and if you're gonna be a, a great player, or a great team, you gotta be more consistent. And I thought, you know, you hit it. We came out flat a little bit on defense, but they picked it up and played through it, which, you know, you hope not to have to do, but you might. What does that say about the offense to respond yeah. after yesterday? Because it was a little bit difficult for them to get into the end zone yesterday. Yeah, I, again, just uh, you got to play yourself through the ebbs and flows of football. I'd love for us to say we're going to come out and be able to, you know, dominate every snap, and that's the mentality. But you know, the other teams have good players too, and so when you face some adversity on the field, you got to be able to play yourself through it. And uh, I thought both sides showed that. We just want to ultimately we want good football. You know, we want the offense to have to earn it against the defense and vice versa, that there's no freebies. A month into it, what are your thoughts on Sam and how he's progressed, not that quarterback? Position? Yeah, he's, uh, again, very, very talented athlete. He's a sharp kid. He just needs a lot of repetitions, not, not unlike many guys his age and experience level. So I think he's done some real good things. And the more he's out here on the field and in the meeting room, with coach staff and the offense, he'll get better and better. How would you evaluate what Sam did today? Uh, I thought early he looked real sharp. I mean, maybe one of the first series throw a really nice go ball. Uh, he got out of trouble a few times. You could see the athleticism there. Made him, made the defense pay with his feet. Um, I think the decision making is getting better and better. Got to clean up the turnovers. You know, he would tell you the same. You're sort of limited what you can see of him because you don't want the quarterback to design runs. Right. Yeah. So you can't really see his. Yeah, well, we still do some of them. And then, yeah, the little bit quicker whistle right now. But uh, there'll be time for that. With the week until the spring showcase, what are you looking for most? What are you looking for most? Yeah, it just probably depends on who you're talking about. You know, which. Just in general, is it more like, are you looking more in terms of details and focus? Are you looking for short execution and combination? Yeah, I mean, you're always looking for better in both of those areas. The focus has actually been pretty good. Uh, I thought yesterday we were. Again, the pre-snap penalties that showed up yesterday hadn't really been an issue, and for the most part, were remedied today. So you want to be able to, you know, avoid those. And uh, 
Now it's just the, uh, I think the detail within the schematics, the detail within their assignments from play to play, and decision making, the habits that you're forming, running to the ball, how you're finishing, uh, competing, uh, at the moment of truth when the ball's in the air, or we gotta make a tackle, so I think all those things that we're constantly looking, constantly looking to uh, get better at. What would, you, what would you like to see Sam get better at? Well, I think just the, uh, continue to move the offense down the field and positive plays and yeah, I think he's gotten better in terms of eliminating some of the negative plays and uh, you know that position he has the ability to do some really really good things and at the quarterback position it's that decision making the accuracy with the ball uh, moving the offense down the field going forward and I think he's gotten better and better and he just Again, we pour, we got to pour reps into him and a lot of guys. You know? Have you seen noticeable improvement yes. just over the spring? Absolutely. And in any particular well, he's area? Playing quarterback. Yeah. I think he's getting I think he's getting better at playing quarterback. That's a good thing. Yeah. Get to get Jaden back today. Yeah. 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 He did a great job and yeah. he's a uh, he's a very talented guy. So yeah, he's doing good. Do you sense that the offense feels different or is just a little bit more energized when he's out there? Because it looked like that first team period, like. Maybe a little bit different well, energy. Yeah, I mean, the thing about it is uh, we really can't rely on one person to give the entire team energy because uh, things happen in football and maybe you got a substitution or, you know, God forbid, a guy gets dinged up. But uh, certainly, uh, you know, we want all of our players healthy and able to go. Um, but we all individually and as a team need to be able to be self-starters and get ourselves ready to practice play and uh, maybe not rely on any uh, external motivation. I think that's the, the goal of all of it. Speaking guys that are dinged up, uh, what are the statuses of Byron and Jeremiah? What their long time that looks like? For Which ones? Byron, Byron Cardwell. Cardwell and Jeremiah Irby. Jeremiah Irby. Uh, Byron, uh, we will see. We still waiting to hear from the trainers. Uh, they're doing some further tests and Jeremiah Irby uh, should be progressing this week. We'll see to what extent. Yep. I just got, why was I not here yesterday? Was that just, uh, just unavailable to practice, yeah. Okay, nothing serious or anything. He was unavailable to practice. Yeah. Anybody else? Okay, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Zebo.